Hello, everyone. Thanks for your interest to my study. My name is Yang Nan. Currently, I'm a PhD candidate in food science at North Dakota State University. Today, I'll share one of my latest studies with you. It's about how gum removing methods influence flexi protein structure, rheological, and tribological properties. As you know, flaxseed is one of the important oil seed crop in the world, and the application of flaxseed in food industry is primarily limited to its oil and the whole seeds. Up to date, the protein-rich defeated kick is primarily used as animal feed. Therefore, isolation and purification of flaxseed protein from flaxseed kick and their application in food industry could increase the value of flaxy meal. One problem is that the flaxy gum, uh, namely mucilage, significantly interfere with protein extraction and so reduce extraction efficiency. So the goal of this work was to investigate the effect of two demucelogen approaches, warm water and enzymatic method, on structural, rheological, and tribological properties of flaxy protein extracted from flaxy meal. First, we grinded a flaxy cake, then removed fat using batch succinate instrument. After that, we apply two methods to remove flaxy gum or simulcellogy. One, one method is warm water at 45 Celsius degree. Another is 45 Celsius degree plus 2 percentage of commercial sadness enzyme. Next, we extracted protein from above the simulcellogy flour using alkaline extraction and isoelectric point precipitation method. Finally, we obtained two proteins labeled as WFPC and EFPC, respectively. Now, uh, in order to compare the effect of two demucelogy methods, we tested some important parameters like chemical composition, amino acid composition, molecular structure, secondary structure, risk and lubrication property. What we found? First, let's look at uh, physical chemical properties uh, of flaxseed protein concentrates. As you can see from table 1, removing gum using warm water led to significantly higher protein extraction yield than using enzyme. Moreover, compared to WFPC, which means uh, what, uh, FPC, obtained from water demucelogy method. So compared to WFPC, which has high protein content of 65% and light greenish color, the greenish color you can see from the uh, picture, powder picture from um, in method part. So, uh, compared to WFPC, which has high protein content and light greenish color, EFPC presented a significantly lower protein purity and dark color. Interesting part is that EFPC has significantly higher total phenolic content than WFPC, which may explain uh, that why EFPC presented darker appearance than WFPC. As for amino acid composition, here we summarized the amino acid composition into four, t uh, four categories. And as you can see from uh, table two, no remarkable differences existed between proteins. Now, Let's take a look to structural properties. From figure one, we found that compared to enzymatic treatment of FPC, or the abbrevi abbreviated as EFPC, water demucelogen, or say WFPC, consisted of a larger proportion of high molecular weight protein subunits. Furthermore, the secondary structural content 
of WFPC and EFPC analyzed from second derivative FTIR spectra demonstrated that compared to EFPC, WFPC has significantly lower proportion of alpha helix, but higher ratio of beta sheet and beta turn. Changes in both distribution of different protein subunits and secondary structure uh, tell us that the enzymatic treatment does influence flexible protein molecules by partially hydrolyzing proteins. Finally, let's see uh, uh, how demucelogen approaches impact on protein rheological and the tribological properties. Figure three tell us, tells us that WFPC solutions exhibited shear thinning rheological behavior, while EFPC showed Newtonian fluid behavior, indicating lower mucilage residues existed in EFPC compared to WFPC. As for hypnological behavior, uh, which, uh, which mi mimics oral lubrication property of a product, the, the tribological behavior was started at 37 Celsius degree with or without addition of artificial saliva. Also, uh, we see a simulated saliva. I think from figure four, WFPC should lower friction coefficient than EFPC, which suggested that WFPC has smoother oral lubrication property. In addition, adding artificial saliva led to reduce in friction of coefficient. This indicates that saliva Artificial saliva may be able to increase the lubrication property of protein solution. To conclude, demucelogen, or the removing a flexi gum using warm water, is more practical than enzymatic treatment in terms of uh, uh, a higher protein content. Our and complete molecular protein structure, light protein color, and smooth oral lubrication property. That's all of my uh, I study. Uh, so feel uh, welcome to any questions. Uh, thanks for your listening.